I'm Pat Gunn, and this is part of my Let's Play series for Fallout 4. Now, when we left off uh, last time, we had just finished acquiring Vault 88, or at least uh, clearing it out and getting access to it. And since then, I've actually turned it into a home. And so before I uh, actually, uh, before I start my next adventure, and I'm realizing I'm seeing the word actually a little bit too much, I thought I'd give you a little tour. So... As you might know if you've played much Fallout 4, there's a large part of uh, part of the game where you, uh, or a large part of this vault where you don't really have much of an ability to build. And in this area, it's because there's not that much space to do it. Like you still could build, it's just you really don't have a whole lot of room to uh, to do it. But then, uh, but then there's areas uh, much further out where uh, where it's just beyond the uh, the range of the settlement, so you can't build. Well, this is probably one of the bigger settlements. Certainly one of the more uh, more complicated areas. Uh, areas that uh, you just have a whole lot more room to build. And most of it is back here. And you might see me clearing out just a little bit of stuff as I go along. Um, but now we're in the main area. Uh, oh, actually, I probably shouldn't put that away. I still only have the, um, the overseer here. Or the would-be overseer here. But I've started to get it ready to hold a whole lot more people. So this is a security desk, which uh, will be important to have some defense for the settlement. And then this is the area where the would-be overseer had a little, um, had, had a trailer, essentially, where she was living for these 200 years. I don't really I have a tough time imagining what it would be like to live for 200 years in such cramped space. Uh, well, there's, uh, there's a ghoul here, a named ghoul called Julian, uh, named and dead ghoul. This is actually a wall that we can scrap, but I'm not going to do that yet because I, I want to develop the settlement in its original area further before I start uh, digging things out further. I think this is another scrappable wall here. And I've preserved, at least for now, uh, the original trains, and I've moved some signs around a little bit. But yeah, you, you walk in to an atrium. Uh, and so I built a security desk. I'm probably going to try and settle out the ground floor a little bit more to maybe add a cooking area, stuff like that, once I have people. I've spent a little bit of time hooking up the lights. Took me a, uh, took me some time to remember how the lights work in uh, in vaults because they're kind of different. Uh, the uh, electrics basically work differently. This is a medical bay, and I want to have one really near the entrance to the vault on the theory that when people show up from the wasteland, they might need a little bit of uh, might li might need a little bit of work done. So I have a uh, bed for people to rest in, and I have a surgery chair. Unfortunately, the way that things lined up, I can't quite seal off this door, uh, or I mean seal off this corner of the room. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. Longer term, I'm hoping to find some better solution. This is one of those uh, things that you can put on a wall that will beam electricity to everything in the area. So moving out, the, um, out of the atrium, we have... The overseer's desk. Anytime you want me to carry some of that valuable gear you're lugging, you just, uh, you just let me And know. so if we talk with her, we'll start a series of quests that I don't really want to do yet. But also gave her her own bedroom uh, up here. I moved her desk from downstairs up to here. And also gave her an additional desk. Like basically, maybe she might like to have one desk that's used for, uh, maybe vault things, and then maybe a nice personal desk for personal stuff that she does. I'm not sure if we're actually going to keep her as uh, as we go on, because it's possible to alienate her. If you do that, she leaves. Um, so that's the medical bay. And if we go further, we find I've made a first bedroom. It has two beds, two chairs, and a TV. Basically, I try and make these places at least a little bit livable. Because I kind of like to imagine that maybe the 
these should be places that people might actually want to live. Um, this is kind of just an escape hatch for now. I might add some more corridor uh, there, but it's kind of nice to have an easy ability to pop out and walk on the roof. And this is another bedroom with three beds and a couch. And you can kind of see that this is lit up by some lights, I think from the ceiling. But uh, yeah, a little bit of a higher density place. Gave it a little bit more storage. Then we have another door that right now just doesn't lead anywhere. Probably we could actually lock the storm reality until we built something there. So that's the shape of our vault right now. We've, uh, we've cleared out some of uh, some of the stuff that's um, that's outside. So like I think I cleared out one of the trains here that uh, was kind of in the way of building some vault stuff. I have built some supports just because it looked a little bit too silly to just have these structures floating. And we've cleaned up, we've certainly moved out the area around the um, would be overseer's uh, storage camper. And so that's where we are right now. And so I think what we're going to do uh, is head over to Vault 81. Oh yeah, so just in placing some of these things, we gained a level because you get tiny amounts of experience from uh, uh, from building stuff. And we're going to take Rank 3 Science because that is useful for energy weapons. And I, I tend to snipe a lot more with, uh, with um, ballistic weapons. But that might not necessarily uh, uh, remain true. So, Vault 88. Or was it 81? It's 81. I think we didn't actually go inside of this vault. I hope we meet the requirements to go inside. Because otherwise I will have to pick something else to do. Ornaments. Here you can see that Vault 81 has a little bit of an area for traders to hang out when they're uh, bringing stuff by because traders are not actually allowed to bring stuff into the vault, uh, or rather they, they themselves don't enter the vault, it's not for them. So they just kind of get What's to the swing point by, of up that junk? trade stuff, and then head right back out again. That is not within our ambitions. We would like to go inside. Here we are. I spent my childhood living right next to a vault. Just some seriously bad memories I wish I could forget. We're going to use our vault boy to open the door. Ouvrez le porte. Hold it right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Just looking. Is that so? Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am. So well, if someone wants. Uh -huh. Sorry about that. For newcomers, we like to operate on a. But I'm a fellow... All the more reason to help out of... Mm -hmm. I'm interested. Fusion cores. Done. I happen to have it. Really? I'll be down to meet you. Mm -hmm. So what we found out here is pressing the button is not in itself enough. And that apparently people inside can decide uh, when they get the signal. for weeks now. They need a break. Everyone's working uh, another hard right outsider. Now. You think I don't know that? Well, like, Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects. Uh -huh. Gwen McNamara. Over uh -huh. here, uh -huh. we pride ourselves. Uh -huh. We'd like to be completely self- Uh-huh. I'm impressed you maintain- Thanks. But some here would disagree. 
You should be wary. Exactly why we rely on. That's why I like to use. Speaking of, if you're ready. Uh huh. Here you go. I won't, but Dr. Penske certainly. Now? Right. If you need anything else, I'll be in my. Okay. So we have gained entrance. I don't want to hear any negative reports about you, hey outsider. There. So, we got a new visitor today. Don't say anything. It's pretty. Yeah, that's the fear. Hard work pay? Trying to, at least. They say it's all the. Structurally, I guess 81 is still. Uh -huh. Well, I don't want to keep you. So, if you walk around, you, you find that most of these people here, they're extremely busy, but we actually are seeing a functioning hall. It's in good condition. Things are maybe a little bit disheveled, but they're clean. That was they the look pretty well maintained. So, you're the resign's radiation. Impressive. Hey, Ashes. What are you doing up here? Ashes, where are you going? Ash! Damn it. Okay, not going to like so this. who let the cleaning robot loose in here? Yeah, so huh? things really, really look clean and nice. And actually, the vault looks kind of similar to the one that we uh, that we just uh, got. Hey. Now that you made it in, we'll be keeping an eye on you. So do us all a favor and behave yourself. Hope you're not making any trouble. Stay out of trouble. And down we go. So it's it's neat to see uh, across all the Fallout, Fallout series what it looks like to have a vault that's functioning after this long. There are, um, in other games in the series, a few vaults that are mostly working. Some of them are missing a spare part or two, or uh, they're not in perfect condition, but you can see that this is by and large. Hey lady, are you really setup. from the Commonwealth? Me? No. I'm from the moon. Still got cheese on my shoes. I guess that was a dumb question. But I bet it's your first time here. I can show you around just five caps. Sure. But I'm not paying- You're that cheap. Hi, Austin. I can't wait till I don't have to go to school anymore. Oh, interesting. I've never failed that, uh, that check before. I was thinking or hoping that McCready would uh, approve of it. So well, either the sarcastic answer or my haggling, but apparently not. And as we mentioned before, McCready likes it when you steal things and are not. You should stop by bad. and see Horatio while you're here. Can't imagine you come across many barbers in the Commonwealth. Now, where are don't try anything. And this is the walkway to the overseer's office. And there she is. If you haven't already, you should stop by the classroom. Katie would love to have you speak to her students. Excuse me, overseer. Take time to look around. You'll have the full run of the place. Yeah, it really doesn't make sense that you would allow an outsider to do this. I mean, I guess in a video game. Hopefully, sense. 81 will quit her bus and walk now. Give us a little time. But I need your help here. There are some people arguing. Please, you haven't needed my help in years. Whatever it is, it can wait. Oh, so Aaron and I can just wait? You're, You're that Commonwealth traveler, aren't you? Whatever happened to loving hey. husband and Sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these days. You're whipping up a new batch of pies today? Hi. I heard Alexis you promised must one be that Aaron. new traveler, Gwen. I hate to disappoint the little ones. Yeah. And a welcome. Uh -huh. If you need any food, our menu isn't quite. Do you run this place? Heavens no. Right. I'll think about it. Sunshine Diet Marcus William Somerset. Oh, yeah, don't so you go on if you're so clever. Stuff Those guys are want a good meal? Uh, down here. Here. Maria, the they have enough power to do that. Here you can see where it happens. It's pretty cool. I'm not sure what it would actually take to, uh, to set up this kind of arrangement. Uh, Thanks, Horatio. I love it. I didn't think I'd ever make it in with the hours I've been working. You did, and now you look completely refreshed. Just remember, a couple months and you come back and see me again. 
Now, off with you. Get some rest. No promises there, but I'll try. Another new face in the vault, eh? And here we can see what looks like an entry to a reactor that is not open. I have a perfectly capable husband who refuses to be of any use. <clears throat> I'm exhausted. I hope I can get some rest tonight. Hey. Oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. I've had a few. Stop being so mar- My kids would love- Right? Would you mind talking to them? Mm hmm I'd be glad to talk to them. Marvelous. I'll just stop what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. would like us to talk to her students about stuff, but they're not doing it now, uh, because it is apparently definitely not, uh, not daytime. It's been a while since someone from the Commonwealth class visited us. Austin. Bet you wish he took the tour now. It is possible to sit here, and I guess I can just sit down. Hey, sweetie. Excuse me, ma'am. Have you seen my cat? How much would you pay to... You can have my teddy bear. Hmm. I'll find him for you. Left the vault? Sure. Hey. Thank you. Ugh, what I wouldn't give for just one evening of solitude. Whatever you want, forget it. I can't be bothered with it right now. If... No, apparently not. He thinks that I'm... Would be a little Dr. Bit Forsyth is asking to see you in a moment. So there's a storage room. Yeah, it looks like huh? a lot of people live in very, very tiny rooms here. I suppose you'd probably be pretty happy. Another new it. face in the vault, eh? I gave some fusion cores. Fusion cores? Quickest way to boost morale. The people here, some blame the old. It's not easy. True words were. Well, I. Yeah, so this actually, it feels a little bit like New York. Huh? That in New York you often have these kind of extremely. Welcome, bad welcome. I hope I'm not. Would you mind donating? Right. Am I person? All right. The overseer did give me a few. Sure. You can have some blood. Excellent. Just have a seat. Mm hmm. I was really hoping McCready would would be giving this. This will only take a sec. Rest, but I guess not. Ooh. There. Okay. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Here are the caps I promised you. Thank you. This will be a great help. Now. I need to get these prepared immediately. Okay. Well. Hey. What do you want? Here you go. Oh. That's all for now. Sure. The Creedy just happened to have some spare fusion cores on there. That is really funny. Those are not super common uh, objects. Okay, so I've met a whole bunch of people. I think I've met everybody I need to trigger further events in the story. Uh, I still I'll still. i be like damned if that whole duck isn't going to need replacing. Do that. Um, see, will this let me wait? Yes, it will. So if I wait for three hours, then the classroom should be back in session. What I wouldn't give for some real time off. I'm getting too old for this job. Well, if you were too old okay. for a detective, I'm going to quickly run back. That wrench. Someday, I'm gonna check up. Katie, would you like to tell the students one of your stories now? I'd be glad to. Wonderful. The right? children, children. We have a guest today. Mm -hmm. Did you ever fight a death claw? How do you know? I hear stuff. Grand hurts some. 
Death claws are. How did you beat it? I was shot up pretty bad by the. But you were still able to rescue him. Uh, this character right? has actually never met Preston. We were all scared. More raiders showed. Boy, I sure. <laughs> I wasn't ready when the death claw crawled out. Good thing I. That sounds scary. I was hurt pretty badly. Wow. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. you. And we. Ha Please bring him back safe. So, I don't know if there's actually any difference in the way that you tell yep, that story. Yep, good old 81. He's going to hell in a handbag. But we're going to head upstairs and rescue a cat. Now, this, this is a little bit unrealistic here in that, in reality, Generally, if a cat manages to get outside, uh, it would not really be feasible to try and catch it. You might be able to if it's hanging around home, because cats are kind of not creatures that handle novelty well. Although maybe that's just the way that we raise them. Uh, maybe outdoor cats are different. But they, they probably would tend to be uh, super, super scared to be outside. game you knows where the cat is and somehow your character does so you just basically have to follow the quest marker. It makes absolutely no sense that your character would have any clue. Basically, you just tell the cat to go home, and it does, which is definitely not what I'm used to from cats. You're messing with the bed. This cat is still doing the bad stuff. Oh. You do not shoot at me. You know what you're doing. Don't make me carry that worthless crap. Oh, always good to have telephones. Yeah, this is a cute little pre-war diner. I'm not sure if this would be enough room to cook stuff for that number of people. Maybe it would be. Anyhow, we're gonna head back to the vault. that we have rescued the cat. And we're going to 
uh, swing by and let her thank us for the cat rescue. We keep the vault safe. Terminal's got this locked. Now that's interesting. Uh, this is a door that apparently has, uh, we'll find out later. This door has sat uh, unopened for probably 200 years. The outsider returns. Remember, I think that no people funny maintaining business. this place would have found some way uh, to open that door. Or they would have blocked it off or just done something with, uh, with it. Long standing mysteries are not something that people generally do well with. Austin got bit by a mole rat. We're not sure if he's gonna make it. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Down we go. Yeah. And... Sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these days. Your friend here looks like a regular mercenary. We'll be keeping a close eye on him. Welcome back. Nice to see the Commonwealth have Let's turn off these other quests so that they, their quest markers don't have to use us. Another lamp. What the hell do these people do to them that they keep breaking? Okay, so to talk about the returning cat, looks like she is hanging out in here with her parents. Austin got, got, got himself bit by a mole. Hey, pal. So now they got us cooped up in here to watch Aaron. Him. It's ridiculous. ma'am. I was so worried about him. You're welcome. Mom says I can give you the ashes. Bad kitty. I was so yeah. worried about you. Except now we should probably check and see what happened. Uh, to Austin, who was that kid who offered to uh, it. the interface here is not that great. There we go. And I bet mom's gonna make you give you a bath. Really, that's a good point. Any I that know, I the don't like world, you either. You would probably want to clean back. very thoroughly if you're allowing it to wander around here. But it makes no sense to allow somebody to wander You have to do it. something, Jake. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsythe. Not now, Bob. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsythe, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. There was this terminal there. So I started poking around in it. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret vault. Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junkie genius. There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? I would be glad to help. I was hoping I could count. Bobby here will show there is a chance that if you find it. Sure. And for Austin's sake. Follow me. Be quick. Find that cure. Okay. So, sick boy got bitten by mole rats in a place that most people in the vault don't know anything about. That is the start of an adventure. It's interesting. I think a lot of the quests in Fallout 4, they have a certain feel that, like, if you were doing Dungeons and Dragons, you would. Uh, you would decide this is uh, actually a pretty. This is something that a uh, a DM would hopefully be able to uh, keep up with because really being a DM in an RPG is it's all about storytelling. Okay. So he has opened up this 
place. I am going to hey. talk to McCready. Well, Commonwealth Savings Bank of McCready, hey. open for business. And send him off. First, I'm going to give him any stuff that I don't absolutely need. Reduce my weight limit. There's a, a reason why I'm doing this, and it has to do with a bug in the game. And the bug is basically that in the upcoming uh, part of the game that we're going to be doing... Oh, apparently we forgot to empty out McCready. Hey. What's on your mind? McCready, I think it's... I think you're making a huge... If you change your mind, you know where to find me. So we're sending him back to Red Rocket. The, uh, but yeah, the bug is basically, if either of you gets hit in the upcoming area, then you permanently uh, lose some uh, health. And I can control, or at least I can try and control if I get hit, but I can't really even hope to control whether he gets hit. I'm not going to save scum in this, I'm just going to suffer it if I end up taking a hit. But I'm gonna at least try pretty hard not to get hit. And there's all sorts of stuff to loot in here. We're gonna be a little bit selective because we no longer have somebody to help us uh, carry stuff. So the idea here is that this is an area that scientists were using conduct uh, experiments on the vault dwellers. So they had their own separate section of the vault that the vault dwellers didn't know anything about. Where they live. Oh, yeah, we probably should ready... start charging at us. We want to have even a reasonable chance to avoid uh, getting that malady. It's actually a really tough to do because these creatures can dig. Oh, and it's not just the creatures. There's also some uh, pretty decent... It doesn't really make 
sense that this door would be locked on. I, I can't think of any reason that the... That the scientists would do that, because nobody was going to come... Uh, there was no real threat from the front entrance to this area. Well, actually, we're kind of seeing That's the end of the real entrance, really. They have a pretty good setup here for the scientists. It's not perfect, but it certainly uh, looks like it'd be a decent place to live. There we go. Oh, well, let's just activate this protect uh, protect one, and we don't really have a good reason to want to do that. So off we go. Let's get our uh, weapons ready. try so this is going to be an interesting adventure Let's see if I can do it this time. and some nice aluminium trays It'd be nice to have these because it's otherwise not hard or it's not super easy to get that in the bulk we'll ignore the I'm sure this whole thing is overblown and Austin will be running around tomorrow overblown or not we have to do what we can for Austin okay. I just don't know what I can do red marker neither here. do I Priscilla why him? 
He's just a boy. He's going to be just fine. You'll see. So yeah, all this blue and their stuff. They they had it good in here. Well, this is gonna be a choice for you. You get to nag me and I can't go anywhere. Oh, real nice, Holt. Make this about you. Don't you think about anyone other than yourself? Your daughter could get sick like Austin, and you're whining about spending time with your family? I have things to do. We don't have to hide away in here. You're so busy, Holt. You have so much to do. Please, explain to Aaron why your needs are more important than her safety. Just never mind. You and your staff are to make sure every lesson remains under stringent medical observation. Understood. But Overseer. No buts. This is for the good of the vault. We can't risk this pathogen spreading, Dr. Forsyth. Yes. Did I fully gain my heart? How is Austin doing? Not good. It's those noise. Uh, the those infection noises. has progressed. And let's hope that outsider pulls through and gets us secure. Okay, so what can we do here? We have critters. Somewhere around here. tunnel under the door. I don't think I, I got hit.
jump right behind me and uh, slip right out the uh, slip right out under the um, under the balcony thing and fell out. That was funny. Text password, test tune, all sorts of other good stuff. This is all kind of what you would expect from a place that bred dangerous creatures and then left them unsupervised for a very long time because everybody was dead. Really old blood packs inside a freezer or fridge that was probably also busted for a really long time. security. I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Do I look oh, like vault tech not. security? Jeez. Over the long years, who is to say what? True, your attire is... I am pleased to report thousands of pathogens, then a single broad spread. Now, please tell me you are... Heck no. I'm just a girl look... You're quite certain? In fact, papers are... Dude. I My audio circuits must be malfunctioning. I'll open the door for you. And that's kind of funny. Since you are a Voltec representative, perfect. I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital epoch, however, be if that is all, I am most eager to leave. So she gives you the cure. You can go. Freedom, at mm -hmm. hopefully now, since my job. She gives you the cure for a whole bunch of diseases. But the cure, the dose of the cure is probably not the important thing. Probably much, much more important that she gave, uh, that she knows the formula uh, to the Because that's the kind of thing that could really change society. Anyhow, she'll follow you into the elevator. And close the door. And up you go. And you will find out that this is actually the other side of that long, closed, locked door that the residents must have seen and somehow never managed to open or never even tried to yes. open. Guts wearing that pit boy in the common room. I can't believe someone hasn't tried to steal it yet. Good work on the cat retrieval. I thought for sure Ashes was a goner. A routine analysis of you indicates you have suffered very little from. So we're gonna head down and deliver the cure to Austin. But really, what we should be doing after this is trying to figure out a way with her to produce a whole lot more of the cure to deal with human diseases. At least assuming that the cure is, is valid for... I heard there's a mole right at the station near the reactor room. I'd steer. Assuming the cure is valid for the modern form of humans, that is the heavily mutated form. It might be good for humans like you, but who knows whether it actually would be good for... Uh, 
Dr. Forsyth? The cure. You found it. Here. Take the cure. Only one dose? Uh -huh. If it doesn't. Sure. Let's hope this works. I heard you had returned. Yeah, again, you don't need to analyze it if you have the person made uh, or around who synthesized it. So he's admi administering the cure. It shouldn't be which long. Which is bizarre because he really wouldn't know anything about proper dosage, what? complications, well, there, empty stomach, full stomach. You're in God. the clinic. You were really sick, Austin. Our visitor this from the Commonwealth saved your works. life. Really? Jeez. Thanks, ma'am. I was worried to death about you, Austin. What got into your fool head? Going into a place like that. Nothing exciting ever happens here. I just wanted to see what was in there. Well, if it hadn't been for our friend here, you might have died. Thank you. I know you made sacrifices to help him. I know Dr. Pinsky will be grateful. For my part, I'd like to give you the syringe. I had it for years and never really had a use for it. She's not the only one. The whole vault is thankful. I'd like to give you a room here in the vault. A place you can call your own. It's in the main hall, on the left as you get off the elevator. Once again, thank you. Can I go see Grant? How about something to eat? I hope you enjoy your accommodation. I wanted to say thank you again for what you did for Austin. You've opened a lot of eyes around here. I had no idea of the dangerous vault tech that hidden away so close to home. I can't believe so many died just behind our walls. Come along, Meg. Right? I heard Austin's making a quick recovery. Okay, so we now have another compa uh, companion available, uh, which is Kiri. She's following me right now, but we're going to switch back to... Um, Never had an incident on my watch, oh, my and I don't want to get out of here. But we're going to switch back to McCready as soon as we uh, we can, because I don't want to... Um, I need more seeds. Thanks again for bringing Ashes back. I'm partway back. through getting his affinity uh, back up. I mean, getting his affinity up to full. I don't really want to uh, delay that. I'll probably return to Curie once I'm done. Uh, or, or I might switch to somebody else. But basically, I'm going to drop, uh, drop her off at Red Rocket and take McCready with me. I think that's going to be the end of this video. Don't I'm try trying anything. To make the videos You're getting be to be a regular a around topic here. Thing. The overseer is demanding more training drills. Casually doing leaps that no real human would be doing nearly that casually. And we're outside. Sweet. One of the things I kind of miss about uh, earlier version to Fallout is that if you took your alignment a certain way, then you would end up having people uh, just coming after you. Uh, because they didn't like what you're doing in the Commonwealth. I, but I guess with Fallout 4, it, it's not really a struggle of such a small number of factions so much as a large number of factions. And so I, I guess it's more like wandering between what different about societies. about that farm rather run by you? Uh, rather than wandering around the playground that's being taken by, by, uh, by a small I mean, I guess the... The factions involved, they are all trying to get it, but they're not being nearly as... Maybe they're, it's just that they're not being as effective, and so they're not effectively controlling the ground in the way that you would kind of expect uh, in the earlier games. So we drop off the meat and all the blood packs. Buff out down to two. More meat. Right. And we'll just want to find the greedy and take him with us. Yeah, that's that's it for this video. I trust you're enjoying my company. Um, I will you and I make quite an effective uh, oh, team. Oh, Spill it. Hey dude. <clears throat> there you are. I almost thought you forgot. Mm -hmm. Time to hit the road. Finally came to your senses, huh? Do you have any new injuries for me to feel fine, thanks. So, Curie will stay at Red Rocket. 
Access the grind. Mm. McCready? Well, I have a ton of them with us again. Heads up. Need? Wow. Uh, he apparently has grabbed some... quite a lot of stuff. Anyhow, yeah, I will see you in my next video where I will maybe... Need something? Uh, I guess I haven't really decided what I'm going to do uh, in that one. Um, I have a few ideas, but I, I need to think about them a little bit more. Uh, there's another vault that we can go and explore, but it's maybe a little bit uh, tough to do at, th at these levels. Um, there are a few other things that we, uh, we might try. Um, anyhow, see you then. Bye.